Hey there. So, um, <laughs> yeah. But Charpin, the ablest, well, I, I don't know if I should say tracer, but plagiarist that, well, made most of our childhoods. I don't know where to start with this guy, but. <sighs> Butch is the creator of some animated shows you might be familiar of. Danny Phantom, The Fairly Odd Parents, etc. All those shows. The ones you might see on... What's it called now? YTV? I don't know. But... These shows made our childhoods. And I'll be honest, they were good shows. <laughs> Pretty nice, to be honest. <laughs> but... I'm gonna be commenting on a point that's brought up quite a lot and it's a pretty recent topic and event that has occurred lately and I'm not gonna say this is tracing but this is kind of blatant plagiarism and or copying this is a drawing of Mikasa Ackerman from Attack on Titan drawn by 082 Ton the total will, will be linked in the description as always and this is Butch Hartman's rendition, or not rendition, but quote unquote, most recent original drawing and commission by him of Mikasa Ackerman. Just kind of look at this for a bit, why don't you? Side by side comparison. Tell me what you see wrong with this. I'll give you some time. Yeah, okay, so I think it's kind of obvious <laughs> there was heavily, heavily inspired. I don't know, copy, I'm not saying anything. It's vibes or tones coming from this. It's. Ugh. I don't know, man. <laughs> Let's take a look at his commissions. So, well. Okay, as you can see, these are. They're nice. Okay. <laughs> But for $200 commissions, I don't think it's necessarily amazing. Um... Wow, it's, it's quite pricey there, Butch. <laughs> yes, I get art takes a while, but you see, like, it takes me like three hours, maybe, if I want to do a good drawing. I only charge like 10 or $15 at the most. You know what you do you when it comes to prices. I will not stop you. You make your living, your income, all you. Kind of absurd though. <laughs> Just gonna say. It's the large prices. <laughs> Being an introvert is, and a lot of people, I'm probably going to get a lot of flack over saying this. If you're an introvert, it's a very selfish thing to be. And here's why. Because it's all about you. You're self-centered. You don't want to get out of yourself and go like, well, maybe I could communicate with these people. Uh, well, I'm just an introvert. I'm going to sit over here and people have to figure out what I'm thinking. Because mm. you're putting, you're making everybody else uncomfortable when you're an introvert like that. Because no one knows what you're thinking. No one knows how you're feeling. And no one knows what to communicate with you. Excuse me, what? Damn, I'm sorry to burst your bubble like that. I didn't mean to express the fact that I have crippling social anxieties and therefore am introverted. Like, come on, man, what is this? You aren't selfish for being introverted. What's wrong with being introverted? You're introverted because you don't want to go out and make a fool of yourself, at least that's my reasoning, or you just get kind of what we can use nervous when talking to people because you don't want to stutter like I always do. So it's because you have anxiety so speaking does not mean you're selfish. If anything, if you're going out of your way to talk to someone or to maybe like try to cheer up someone saying you're an introvert and you don't like really talking to people, it's kind of selfless. <laughs> it's the opposite of selfish. Oh god, what is this? Okay, so I'm personally disgusted by this, like, actually. Um, 
my brother has autism. Uh, and, you know, seeing this isn't necessarily okay because thinking you could just go out right and say, boom, the power of Christ compels your autism is kind of stupid. But Chartman's wife, just like Butch himself, are bigots and ableists. We're thinking it's this simple to deal with in that. Oh, well, to be honest, you, have, uh, you having autism? Mm, not a thing, sweetie. No, no. Not a thing at all. Christianity will cure you. You should just be converted. <laughs> uh, here's a clip of him on his podcast talking to Timmy Turner's I'm pretty sure current voice actor. But Tara was not the original Timmy Turner. The original actress was Mary Kay Bergman, who sadly passed away. But she, she was, was such a sweet, sweet lady. Sweet lady. Mm-hmm. She also did a bunch of voices on South Park when uh-huh. that first started. Yeah. She was the mom on South Park. No, she had a very prolific career. She was awesome. Doing great. And then she ended up passing away. And uh, I think Tara actually had something to do with that. And so <laughs> that's probably what, that was probably your fault. Uh-huh. No, I'm kidding. That was probably your fault. That was probably your what the actual hell, Hartman? What is this? Why would you say that? It's someone's fault for someone else's death or passing. When did they... They did nothing to contribute to it and might have had a connection to that person considering they were the original voice actor and they probably talked to that person and may, may have gotten tips from that person. And it might not be a whole lot, but that kind of crucial when it comes to having like I don't know a relationship where you're this person's successor when the actual hell <laughs> you don't basically just put the blame on someone for their for someone else's death even if it's a joke cuz <laughs> what I, I don't know I don't know really how to respond to this Wow. <laughs> Baffling. But yeah, kids. Moral of the story is never meet your heroes because they might just be like this. <sighs> Heavily converting Christians that just think the wrong things and make really bad decisions way in their proven career as a quote unquote professional artist. Passing. Anything. But yeah, not much else to touch on. I uh, got most of my inspiration for this video from uh, Galaxy is Okay. Her video's great. Her channel's great. Just go sub to her. I'll link her as well. But I just wanted to make a video today as I have the day off. So here you go.